But happening is in such a state, it will become infinite. I am infinite. That is my true nature. I don't realize why. Because you don't analyze these things. You don't go vichara, you don't go research. This is Atma Vichara, what we are doing now. And if you do Atma Vichara, what is the result? You will get to be Veka. And you will get Vairagya also. You will understand how very mind you are compared to the universe. And how great the Satchika and the Paragrahman is. This is absolute awareness, absolute existence. Existence and awareness is its name. Satchika and the Paragrahman. Brahman means vast, very, very big. How big is it? Now visualize the entire universe. Not consisting of one, uh, one particular galaxy. This is only one galaxy, our Milky Way galaxy. There are thousands and thousands of men, lakhs of galaxies, it seems, according to astronomers. Take the whole thing into consideration. And look at this Brahman idea, concept of open to the riches. So great, so vast is this Brahman. I mean, imaginably vast. They use the word Brahman for that. And you are there. Because you can cognize, you can visualize the sun and see expand into the galaxies. <coughs> that is how the astronomers are able to take photographs, visually, uh, evidence of what they are seeing and explaining. So this is what I am I am mean. I am mean Satan Chit. And the bliss also, Satchit Ananda, they use the phrase. And where is this Ananda? Now, what is the evidence to say that this Satan Chit is associated with Ananda? Please. Now, the evidence is your Satan. You take the undergo three stages, three phases of consciousness, awareness. That is the Jagra, Sopran, and Sushupti. Jagra is there, you are there, you see this world, you see something happening to your own body and your mind and so on and so forth. You are a witness. You are just observing all these things. Okay? Now you are going to sleep, and you are a dream, and there is another world there, and there is an angel Pandra there, and you are there. And you are able to experience them. So real that if something bad happens, you feel happy. Suppose you are a very rich person. And you do not go to a neck day for nausea, and the jaw speaks this and that, and then you sleep, and then you dream that you have become a beggar there. And then you go begging everywhere, nobody gives an arm. And you are suffering, hunger, oh, and so on. And so suffering, suddenly you get that. And where do you, what is happening? You are in a three-form bed in your own house. And you have just now completed your dinner and death. So real it was that you may understand this. Ram Krishna Barams, I used to say this uh, particular story. An elder man who had only one son, he slept. And in the dream, he got seven sons. And suddenly, one fine morning, due to cholera, all of them died. All the seven. And he was travel busted. This is a dream event. And suddenly the great deal, he got up. And here, his wife was weeping and came and told him that the son, the only son, met with an accident and died. Now, he was puzzled. He was in great deal. Seven sons have died in a dream, in the dream world. But now here, the only son has died. He was dead and staring, hearing this particular news. And why became very angry? What is this? Are you a human being? Only sometimes not even a tear is falling when they were dating like that. And they remark, yes, what, that's what I'm wondering. Should I weep for the seven sons there or one son here? Both of them are so real. And that's the, that, the seven sons and the here, one son. This is also like a dream. You were not aware of this when you were in that world. And you don't know, not aware well, of that word when you come into this world. Now, whatever it is, certain people you are there. And then you go into the third state. Every day you get this. Deep sleep, God is a Shukti. But you go, you say, I don't know. But you don't know. But what happened? Well, I slept soundly, peacefully. Peacefully, happily slept. And in the morning you are saying, I slept soundly, peacefully, happily. Where is peace and happiness? You are describing an experience. You are there in this sleep. Though you did not know where you were, 
you experience something, they are describing it in the morning. And you feel refreshed because of that experience, physically and mentally. You are ready for a new battle. What's happening with these three conditions? The whole of modern Dogra there is a discussion about this. Amastarvaya, Vichara, Nadesi. The three states are right. You are on three states. Every day you get that. You are undergoing these three states. Please analyze that. In every state you are there. This ion is there. But here, there is a Vanga there in the first two states. And in third place, only Ananda is there. Only bliss. So much you like that if you don't get sleep for four days, you don't be a doctor. Oh, doctor, please tell me, I am not getting sleep. Somehow, a feel that an injection somehow make me sleep, is it? Is it so desirable? Every day you sleep for six to eight hours. And that is the way, in one third of your life, you are standing in the sleep. One third of your life. You will live sixty years. Twenty years you are sleeping. And yet you want to sleep again. Why? And see another peculiar thing. You are suffering. You say that we, uh, you are an um, addict. You can't live without coffee. Ten cups of coffee you take. Without that you get headache and all that. And now when you go into uh, this uh, deep sleep condition, God is the You should tell somebody you are not in your house. Say you put some fire and put some drops of coffee. Without coffee I cannot live. You Nobody know, says like that. On the other hand, in the morning you say, I slept soundly, peacefully and happily. What happened to your addiction? It did not affect you. But eight hours, or six hours. And so also the other uh, people, the people who smoke. I'm a chain smoker. I have cigarettes, I have drugs, this, that, and all that they say. So they say that before going to sleep, so somebody must put some uh, bit of uh, cigarette in my mouth. No. And yet in the morning he says, I said, someone day things would happen. How was he happy? Without their smoking for eight hours? So, in this particular condition called sleep, you are not affected by anything physical or mental. You have got social troubles in the family, so many problems you have got. You have lost so much money, you are in great grief. But if you go into these three conditions, this is not affecting you. So you see, this is a very wonderful condition, whatever it is and wherever you may be going. And the religious say, you are going into your deep self. God, in the form of self, is inviting you daily. Please come and tell me. I will give you Ananda. And the no charges. You will not pay a single pride. Happiness, pure, I'm not going to take an happiness. You get it. Just to stay with me, that's all. He did not do anything. And he also doesn't do anything. This is witness. Sakshi Chaitanya. You are going into your own true nature. This Satanchi. So if you are purely as I am, purely as Satanchi, you will have bliss and happiness. Automatic. And they say it is your nature. The is are pointing out. Well, the Satan is in our relationship, why not we enjoy it here? Because you are doing the wrong things. You go to the wrong habits. How are you doing yourself with the body mind complex? Don't do that. Finish. You will develop. immediately get the peace and happiness you want. You want peace and happiness. Everybody says that. Everybody is hunting for a given the two conditions. But you are not getting it. You are getting houses, cars, everything. But peace and happiness is their way to and here, in the deep sleep condition, without payment, without doing any work, no job, no farming, no business, you are enjoying peace and happiness. Because you are there as pure I am. Pure such and chit. That is all what you have to do. This is Vedanta. This is what Vishnu Bhava is saying in Bhagavad Gita. This is what Vivekananda is saying in his book, in his chapter on Who Am I. You are infinite. You are peace and happiness. And what are you? You are self and chill. You are existence of man. This is the truth. Whether like it or not, this is the truth. Some people come and ask me, Sir, are you self realized? Now, suppose I say that I am self realized. How do you know whether I am self realized or not? Suppose I say I am not. Even then, you can't recognize. The self realization, Mahatma Jnana, there is nobody in the world who is not self realized, Ramana Maharshi. How is it possible? See, you may be ignorant, 
But ignorant to your self-realized. <laughs> you are ignorant about your self-realization. Another is aware of your self-realization. This is the only difference between Jnani and Ajnani. He's pointing out. And sir, I don't know anything when I go into deep sleep and you say it, you are a wonderful condition. But you don't know. But you know that you don't know. So knowledge and ignorance is no ignorance. It is another kind of knowledge, you say. So you find this now such a chitnata ananda is your true nature, that is what I am means. If you understand it properly, and if you go on deeply contemplating it every day, as often as possible, you can do it anywhere. And everywhere. And identify yourself everywhere. You are there, such and it. And because you are there, you are able to identify all these names and forms. And gradually, you will be, that will become natural. You will give up this by habit of identifying yourself in the body. Because you are taught this from right from the beginning, from the childhood, they will be saying you are this, you are that. You are male, female, male, tall, 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 etc. etc. And continuously it is being supported by all your friends and relatives as often as possible. So if you live for 60 years, 60 years you did sahara for what? For identifying yourself with the body, did sahara for it. And you have now to go back from this, this bad habit. Again and again you have to remind yourself that you are such and say, you are everywhere. You are not only in this body. You are even it. And your existence and awareness is responsible for your recognition of all these things. You are the Chit Jyoti. This is Jyoti outright. But we are not talking about this. In the dream you see so many objects. How do you see? Like you never ever see the object. What light is there? This light is not there. And what is that light which is enabling you to see those forms, the names, and recognition and all that? This is the Chit You are the Jyoti. You are certain Chit. Neither lightning those things. And this is what is being pointed out by the Rishi. That is kind of the new process and so on. Now this is the experiment we have made. What is the experiment? Just analysis. And the bigger we try to analyze what's happening around us and inside outside. And this is what is called Atma Vichara. You are doing Vichara. Now, Shankara Jaya says, four more things are necessary if you want to progress in the spiritual path. The first thing is, you must have Viveka and Vairagya. What is Viveka? Viveka is to know what is true and what is untrue. And how to get this uh, Viveka? This is by Vichara. So, you do Atma Vichara, you will get Viveka. And what is Viveka? To know what is true and what is not true. Now, here you see that your idea that you are the body is not true. Your idea that you are the body mind complex is not true. And what is true? You are the certain chief. Your existence and awareness and your belief, such is your name. That is your form. And if you try to remind yourself of this by vichara, but it's not my vichara. And the result would be what? You will have correct identification of yourself. And consequently, you will have no vichara, that is sorrow. You get rid of sorrow. By Vichara, because you are Viveka now. And Vairagya also will come. You will give up that it's not true. The body, all the world, men and forms are not true. They are like the dream objects you see in a dream. What is true? You are all not true. You as Satya Chitra Nara and is true. So catch hold of the truth. Go after the truth. Live here and true. This is Vairagya. And so, you have to cultivate the other desirable things also. Shema, Dhamma, you must control your body, your mind. You must have Pritiksha, you must have Shraddha, and you must achieve that Samadhi and so on. So, this is one experiment. One more experiment we'll do for the same purpose. He's again and again repeated. Later right? on, later on, let's say, Dr. Who am I? The same thing is being repeated in Bhagavad Gita, also by Lord Krishna, and so on. The other things. <clears throat> all of them emphasize you are not this body. How to get rid of the idea that I am the body? This is the question. Now, in the case of Buddha Bhagavan, he used to take his disciples to the body of ground and find out, you see this, this skull, 
Your skull also will be lying like this of some time. Remember that. Now you see this, this is a leg. Your leg also will be lying here for some time and remember that. And find out different point like that. Different diet and feet and all that. That means there should be repetition and not to try home strongly this particular fact that you are not with skeleton. Now we'll do it in a different way. Now we shall try it as an experiment. <clears throat> now close your eyes and visualize your own body, your skeleton. Now I will repeat it and you just follow that mentally. Now this is skull and there is Brahmara dry in middle. The whole thing is bone, bone, bones. And the cheek and the jaws, all bones. And the eyes are holes in the skeleton and the ears are also holes. Now visualize that. Mentally. And then come down. You have to call the bones here. And lower